here are four wheels each of 7 cm dia. Wheels of different size can be used according to the design of your board. The four DC motors each of 300 rpm. Motors of higher rpm can also be used but then the torque decreases. A solution to that is using Johnson motors where on increasing rpm torque does not decrease but then it costs you a lot. So choose wisely. The metal chassis. Here we have drilled in holes suiting our design. Plywood for the base of board. Two DPDT switches. DPDT switch box. A ribbon wire strip almost 4-5 meter long. The aluminium head for controlling soccer ball. For running the board, we need to convert AC voltage to DC. For that, an adapter can be used. But we created a transformer instead. To know its construction, press the I button. The positive and negative terminals of DC motors. Now, all we have to do is solder red wire to the positive terminal and black wire to the negative terminal in all the four motors. Test the motors by connecting red of each motor to the positive terminal and black to the negative terminal of any external battery. Fix them for the chase. Take the reds and blacks of left motors and check if they are working or not. Do the same with the right motors. Here is the design for the base of our board.
Now the most important part, make connections of right and left wheels in such a way that when you press forward the right switch, your right wheels move in forward direction and do the very same for the left wheels.
Now, the most important part, make connections of right and left wheels in such a way that when you press forward the right switch, your right wheels move in forward direction and do the very same for the left wheels.